For the longest time, I just couldn't scale my agency. I was stuck between three to 5K a month until last month, where I was able to bring in over $18,000. So it means that you could be one good month away from scaling past $10,000 a month. And so I'm gonna show you what we've changed with our agency that took us from 5K a month to last month bringing $18,000. And here's proof to show you that I actually did it. And with that, let's jump into my laptop and I'll show you how we did it. Okay, so I'm gonna break it down into four steps. So each step is part of the system. So if you miss one of them, the system won't work. So let's break it down. So the first thing we figured out is how do we build good go ahead level websites and how do we get clients results? If you can't build websites, you can't get the results, then none of the other stuff matters because you may be able to sign a client and then they might cancel on you, can't fulfill, you'll get refunds and so on. And so step number one is be able to know how to fulfill and then know how to get clients results. So the reality is when it comes to building go ahead level websites, most go ahead level websites just suck. If you've ever seen the go ahead level template library, you know that those websites are absolutely terrible. And so what we have done is we became really good at building websites on go ahead level. So let me just show you a couple examples of websites we've built entirely on go ahead level. A lot of people don't believe us, but let me just show you what this looks like. When I scroll this move sideways, which is really cool, I keep scrolling down some cool features. We have features at a glance. This is for a SaaS agency. So this is kind of what it looks like. We have features up here, you know, get payments, make forms, all that kind of stuff. And so that's one of the biggest keys when it comes to building on go ahead level is becoming really good at it so that you can deliver a high quality product to your clients, not just some random template you found that looks really bad, outdated, that no business owner would want to run their business with those bad templates go ahead level gives us. So here's another website that we built as well. So you can see kind of what those websites look like. You know, this one is a bit more of a dark theme going on. On. So you kind of get an idea of the type of websites that you can actually build with go high level. And so what I'll do is if you're in step one, build a portfolio of really good websites that I could show potential clients that if they ask me, hey, let me see your work, you can just show them and they're impressed and then you can close them. The next thing is knowing how to deliver value to business owners. And the good thing is with Go High Level, there's many ways to deliver value. So I'll give you two examples that we've done with our clients. The first one was a online coach and he sells a digital course. And so we built a really good, highly converting funnel within Go High Level and he was able to close $5,000 worth of sales within the first week. And so knowing how to deliver value through Go High Level as well is really gonna help you close clients. Another example I wanted to show you is the reputation management and SEO that you have within Go High Level. So for one of our clients, a local landscaping business, we built an amazing website and also we implemented SEO and Google reputation management. And so what that does is now he's able to get new clients through his website, through Google searches and he's able to get more business for him it's really valuable getting new business organically through google search through seo and that's just a couple ways that you can provide value to clients with the many ways you can do it with go ahead love the next step i think is where a lot of people struggle which is getting leads and booking appointments okay so how do we book appointments that's the main thing that matters at this point is you know how to fulfill you have a good portfolio you know how to bring value to clients but you just can't seem to get appointments which was us for a long time. We couldn't book appointments. We we're booking one to two appointments a month. And then we were just sitting, waiting for clients. But we figured out a system of how to consistently book appointments. All this stage is creating a system that gives you opportunities to close website clients every week. Some people are wondering, you know, what's the secret sauce? How do you book appointments? The reality is there's no secret sauce. These are some of the systems that people have used to scale web design agencies. Has anybody ever scaled an agency past 10K cold calling? 100% yes. Has anybody ever scaled an agency with cold emails? 100% yes. Has anybody done it with Instagram? Yes. Facebook ads? Yes. Organic content? Yes. So it's just a matter of picking a system. To give you a bit of context, our first client ever was from a cold call. And so I can just tell you that that works. Right now, we do mostly organic content. This is what took us past 10K a month. But I know all of these methods work. It's just a matter of to what degree will they work with your current skill set and character traits. So what I would recommend if I was getting started is pick a system that aligns with your current character traits and your skill set. So if you're somebody that's really outgoing and you love talking to people and you're not scared of rejection, 
information, then I would say you might want to try cold calls. If you're somebody that's really good at copywriting, but you don't like talking to so many people, then you might want to try cold emails. If you're really good at social media, you know, you've been on the platforms, you understand what makes people reply to a DM, all that kind of stuff, then you might want to try Facebook, Instagram DMs. If you're somebody that's like really analytical, you can look at stats, you can see what creatives are working, click through rates, then you might want to try Facebook ads. And for us, I've been making YouTube videos for a little while now. And so it just makes sense that we do organic content. You know, I understand how to make a good video, how to edit videos. You know, if you're going to be on camera, then it just makes sense for you to do organic content. So because we haven't done these in that much detail, I won't talk about this too much. But what I can talk about is what got us to 10K. So let me just show you what is a good example of organic content that books appointments every week. Okay, so this first video is somebody showing themselves building a website for interior furniture business, and then they're showing the result. And so what it's doing is one is showing people that this is what you do, you build websites, two is showing them who your ideal client is. So maybe they like to go after furniture businesses, local businesses, that kind of stuff. And three is showing the actual final product. And so think about it, if you're scrolling on TikTok, you're a local business owner, and you come across this video, and you're looking for a website, then you might be compelled to reach out for this one, this girl is doing fashion web design. And so really smart, she's already making content for her ideal prospect. And she's showing a website that she's building for another client. So again, it's doing kind of similar of what the other video is doing, except for her own niche. And on this video, she got 800 likes, which makes me think a lot of people message her 400 people saved that video. And so if you come across one of those videos with high engagement, high views, the likelihood is that those people are booking quite a few appointments from their organic content. So this video right here is good because it's showing how to do it. And in the process of showing a prospect how you build amazing websites is convincing people of just outsourcing this task to a professional. Why? So imagine you're a business owner and you come across this video and you're like, hey, you know what? I actually do need a better website. Let me watch the video. You're watching the video and you're like, wow, the website looks amazing but it looks like it's going to be a lot of work. And so why don't I just reach out to the creator? They're already building websites and maybe they can build mine. So that's the angle they're using. You're kind of teaching somebody, but in the process of teaching somebody, you convince them to just outsource that task to you. And so that's just a couple examples of how you can use organic content and how we've done it ourselves as well to book appointments, do organic content and get clients every week. Okay, so let's say you mastered getting appointments, but now you need to learn how to close clients. And so this actually happened to us. Once we figured out how to get leads and book appointments, we realized that we couldn't close any of those deals. We actually had eight appointments within the span of two weeks, and we didn't end up closing any of them. And so that's when we realized realize that closing appointments is a skill. And so you need to know how to close clients. So one of the things we noticed when we couldn't close any clients was that we were trying to sell too early. And so that's something you don't want to do. You don't want to sell right away. Instead, what you should do is find out what is the problem my prospect is facing and how can my services help them solve it. The reason is because you can't help someone if you don't know what problem they're trying to solve. And so right now, what we do is we ask questions like, what are you trying to accomplish with your site? What is the biggest issue you're facing with your online presence right now? Or this one we've been using pretty recently is just tell me about your goals with this website. Like, what are you looking for? What are you struggling with? Based on that, you can kind of tailor your sales presentation to match what that prospect is looking for. Now, some objections we face that are fairly common, you present the price and they say, it's too expensive. And so two things we found out is I always like to ask them, it's expensive compared to what? You're trying to find out what are they comparing your service to? And then you can deal with the objection. And then you can tell them, well, my website is expensive, but it's going to help you get more clients. It's going to help you grow your business. So it's actually an investment. It's going to have a return on investment. The next one is a lot of times it may not be that they're comparing it to something else. It may just be that because local businesses have a large overhead, it may be too much to be paid upfront for a service. And so what I like to ask clients is if they say, hey, it's a bit expensive, you don't have to think about it. What I tell them is, is it a cash flow issue? Like, is it the overhead? You have too many expenses or 
is it a value issue? Meaning you don't see the value in the website. Therefore, you think it's overpriced. And so what actually happened to us a couple sales calls ago, it was like, no, no, I see the value. I get it. It's going to help my business. It's just a matter of I have too many expenses going out this month. And so it would make it a bit hard for me to make this payment. And so this is a great issue because we can actually fix it, which is offering a payment plan. And so let's say you're selling a website for $2,000. Instead of charging the $2,000 up front, you could split it up into four payments of $500, which might make it better for the prospect. It's actually worked for us. We've closed a bunch of deals where we split the payment. It's easier for the business owner and then we sign them. We don't have to discount our services, none of that. We just make it more flexible for them to pay. Another one we get a lot of times is I have to think about it. And so this one is usually a reflection of somewhere along your sales call, you lost them and they're not seeing the value or they kind of have to think about it because they're not sure that whatever it is that you're selling them, which is the website, is going to help them out with their business. And so the main thing here is figuring out, okay, what is the thing you have to think about? Is there anything that got you wondering, that got you undecided? And they might just tell you. And then at that point, you can deal with that objection and try to close them. So that's just a couple objections that we've learned. I'm sure you'll come across a lot of these as you start selling people, but learning how to do objection handling is going to be huge for you to start closing clients. So for service delivery, assuming you can do amazing websites, get people results, it's all about setting expectations. And so for us, some clients wanted to get their website really fast, a quick turnaround. They're launching some sort of program and they need a website, a funnel done very quickly. And so for us, we set expectations. If you want it faster, it's going to be more expensive. Otherwise, if you're okay with our current timeline, then it's going to be the regular price. Now, something that you can also do is use go high level pipelines to manage all of your clients. So say you're closing a lot of deals and can't keep track of everybody. So let's say you close somebody or somebody's at the revision stage or somebody's at the mock-up stage and you can't keep track of all the different projects. It's going to be very hard for you to keep scaling. You're going to be all over the place and you won't be able to manage all your clients. And so if you're already using Go Ahead Level, this helps you keep track of all your projects within one space. And so that is exactly how we were able to scale to $18,000 last month. We were stuck at three to $4,000 for a long time because we couldn't book enough clients and we couldn't close enough clients. And so knowing which of these four stages got you stuck, which is your bottleneck, is going to help you scale past 10K a month. If you're struggling to grow your Go Ahead Level website agency or you're just starting out and you can't seem to figure it out, you can't seem to close any clients, you don't know how to create amazing websites on Go Ahead Level, join my free inner circle, which is my course slash community, where I show you how we consistently close a thousand to two thousand dollar website clients using Go Ahead Level. The inner circle is free to join for my affiliates, so click the link down below and I'll see you in there.